Hi everybody, Artyom is a spray gunner and I uh, have Mike here with me, Airbrush Artist, to present you one of our new sets we have available, available now on the website. And uh, Mike is a t-shirt artist, right? You've yes. been doing it on a, on a beach, tell about yeah, it. Yeah. Yep, uh, t-shirt artist, Panama City Beach for about 38 years and uh, just recently relocated out of there and and uh, found these guys, so I've been hanging out with him, them and and did a little work. A little work, I mean, you're responding to most of the phone calls now and uh, <laughs> in the video we're gonna show you guys, uh, it looks like, you know, the short uh, project, quite you know, a few hours, maybe a couple hours, uh, but you really have it in a few days, I think three days or so, just because you keep them, you know, in and out. Yeah, yeah, right. Between like customer that. service and getting into the studio. Yeah. And, but anyways, and doing uh, some more. that's the, the project we're going to present today. And that's the set. We try to part of everything you need. Except for the surface. Absolutely. But yeah, everything's here. Everything that was, was used in the video that you'll, you'll watch is sitting on the table and will be available. All right. So yeah, let's watch the video here in a minute. Uh, Airbrush will be included in one of the sets, will not be included in other just if you have something already, but uh, pretty much we're targeting with beginners who want to try something on Trencher, make it easy for you, get all the sets uh, ready to go, and uh, just a short video in which you show the basics how to how to get there. So why don't you play a video and uh, you'll comment us on what you're doing there, Mike. All right, sounds good. Guys, we're using the Harder and Steenbeck Eagle Wildlife stencil here, and it's three pieces. And so what I basically did first was get them separated. I, I basically just did outlines first, just or inlines actually, just to get the idea, just to map it out. And then it was time to do the beak start to finish, so to speak. So, um, so once I had the, the, everything mapped, then I came in and did more of the detail within the beak and the eye, as you can see. And then we went with this to get the black lines down. So did a little more detail, interior of beak. So, you're doing a little so a little freehand, there. a lot of freehand there, yep. Mm -hmm. And then um, started with the eyes, so went in and put a little more detail in the eye with the uh, Freehand again. So the stencil game basically gives you the shape of the eye and you adding some of the you know, Yeah, you just come in and do some of the detail, yeah. And here it gives you kind of an idea of some, maps out some feathering or feather area for you. And then it was time to do kind of the brown of the neck area. Mm -hmm. So get most of the solid color down, come back with the head, did a little blue shading to kick off of the flag that you'll eventually see. And then it was time to do a little a lot more detail work. So here is a lot of freehand, just different strokes, giving a little more detail to the head and the neck area. Nice. And mostly using the gray that you see down here on the table. You can see all the people coming to you in the background. Everybody trying to disturb you from <laughs> doing it. But it, yeah, it's done in the Chrome Air Studio next door here. And uh, yeah. Yeah, so still just Again, doing doing a little more detail, all freehand. How do you like the paints, Chrome Air paints for this? I enjoyed them. I thought that man, they flowed absolutely fantastic. And um, as you can see, I was using siphon feed airbrushes. Well, that's used to with the uh, two ounce bottles, and um, I was using a, a Grex, which is a product we sell here. So mm. it was a absolutely awesome airbrush. So now it's time to um, do the flag background. So. I've laid out the stars. I'm just gonna pass it here. You didn't, uh, you didn't film yourself putting the transparent paper over it. Oh no, I didn't. Oh, yeah, you didn't. <laughs> so, but let's talk about it. So we have the piece included here, right? Yes. In front of you. So it's sitting right here, guys. So what I did was after I was done with the head, first of all, I shot a protective coating on it with the, uh, what do we have down there? Is that the 4050? Yes, the 4050. Yeah. So just shot a protective coating over top of the, the um, eagle head first. And then I laid a um, protective sheet over top of the head and cut it out with an X-Acto knife. And then it was time to uh, put the stars on and tape off the area that's going to be the flag. And then I used the uh, Custom Creative to, um, because it's really flexible, so it really bent nice to be able to um, 
to do this flag and be able to give it some some wave and some shape to it. Mm. So shooting the blue of the flag right now, and it you know put several coats on there to to get it nice and solid. And uh, I use the yellow tape as well, and and I really just use some paper underneath the yellow tape that's, just to protect the rest of the surface. That's important moment right there. You're doing the blue. You're doing it you know, sideways first, the horizontal, then you do vertical to make sure mm -hmm. there's no lines. Yep. If you do lines only, you might see them eventually. Yep. That's, that's the right way to do so it. So now I'm taping out what are going to be the red and white stripes of the flag. And again, this stuff is really nice and, uh, nice and flexible. It was fun to use. It was my first experience using it, so I really mm -hmm. enjoyed it. Tape. Great product. Absolutely fantastic product. And you missed the secret again, how you changed the well, how you covered the flag, the blue part, but anyways. Oh, so... There's a basic, yeah. yeah. it was just a piece of paper to cover up using the yellow tape. So here, what's get, getting covered right now are the white stripes of the flag, and I'm using the yellow custom creative in between the orange. That way, we won't be getting any paint on those white stripes. And um, that being said, of that tape, mm -hmm. uh, wonderful, great ed Great adhesion, doesn't leave any residue, no bleeding underneath. And that's the important part we're using two types, because if you use just the orange one, it's going to be crazy expensive, because it's pretty expensive to type. Yeah. If you use just yellow, you might have some bleeding under it, because it's not really designed to cut the paint off you know, completely, but yeah, here yep. you can see it really clean. clean uh, yeah, clean super edge. clean, super clean lines. So here guys, yeah, just doing, hitting all the red stripes and, you know, coating them a few times as to make sure they're nice and solid. So once that was dry, it was time to peel everything so that we see what we see what we have, see what we've done. What have you done? What have you done? <laughs> so, um, and then here I'm just using a, an X-Acto knife to, to peel these stars off. And, um, and this is unprotected. So, you know, this is the Chroma Air by itself and I'm, I'm messing around with an X-Acto knife, so mm. um, good stuff, good paint. No paint came with any with any of this peeling process, so it, using, you're using white paint, it's right. It stuck fantastically. So here, guys, I'm just doing a little a little shadowing behind the eagle head before before that the protective protective cover over top of the eagle head gets pulled. And right now, I'm doing. Just trying to bring that flag to life, so giving it some shading, some shadowing to just give it a wavy effect. And uh, using a little black, some gray, and then I also took the gray and the black, mixed it up to get a darker gray out of it as well. So, And just, you'll notice no continuous lines from top to bottom. Come in here for a little bit, back on another side. You don't want them to be a continuous line all the way from top to bottom, um, that just again it just gives it gives it more life, it gives it more pop. Gives it, yeah, it gives it whole volume, it gives it life. You know, and when you're doing this, uh, you know, shadows with the free hand, it just changes everything. Yep. Yep. Just makes it gives it gives it a little more pop. All right, that's All right. it. So uh, that's how it's done. But uh, thanks for Mike uh, helping us with that. How to do more of those uh, tutorials, kind of, and the sets to go with it. So you have to, you know, shop around and think, you know, what, what you need. That's pretty much good enough. You buy with airbrush. I don't think you need anything else. You might need some water from your sink to you know, clean it completely. But we do mm -hmm. have uh, Cradex 4050 to start with. That's not, uh, I mean, it's a clear, and you can you know, consider it as a clear coat. It's not the brightest clear, so if you're looking at the automatic final gray clear coat, that's not it. But it's really nice to protect the artwork like this if you you know gonna use it for house kind of for show your friends for yourself but it also can be in the mid coat and like you mentioned you know you've been protecting the eagle yeah the inner coats inner coat yeah and can uh, be your primer to many surfaces if you check the technical data sheet for this material it's just amazing you can go on wood you can go on plastic uh, glass we did a video you know, testing in all different surfaces Direct to metal, that's just, yeah, it's really, really amazing yeah. products. So we have it included here, uh, along with the traditional Cradex cleaner for airbrush. I have, of course, reducer for uh, chrome air paints, and here's your uh, seven colors. Everything you need for this uh, artwork. 
tapes, two types of tapes as we discussed. Uh, I have a bunch of uh, mixing equipment there. You have knife, you have stars, you have those stencils. Yeah, and uh, if you want a more detailed video on the eagle itself, uh, Harvin and Stemma got uh, their own video for how it's done. With more clues maybe there, but anyways, I think it should be a good starting point, you know, and the pen actually included as well as so spray gun pen. <laughs> yep, you're getting it as well with the, <laughs> with the tip. So it's available on spray gun right now, and uh, of course, inspired by 4th of July here, but we will continue doing some of the search, right? Yeah. All right, well, thank you for watching. I hope it's helpful. If you have any questions, just reach out to us, and uh, again, Mike is answering phone here pretty often, so. Enjoy, guys. <laughs> Thanks right. for watching. Thank you.